All right, today I'm going to do the angle support dash M. This part's a little bit tricky, so you're going to need to follow along. So I'm going to start with a 2D sketch, and a lot of times I start on the XY plane. But in this case here, I'm going to start on the XZ plane. When I click on the XZ plane, it rolls it around in, in such that I don't like. So I'm going to click my view cube up here and roll it back the way I like it. I'm going to go to the circle tool first and constrain it to the origin. I'm going to dimension uh, the proper dimension there and, and make sure that you are in metric. Uh, the first radius dimension is 40 millimeters, but we're not doing radius at this time. It's um, diameter, so we have to choose 80 here. All right, so I'm going to sketch some lines. I'm going to snap uh, to 12 o'clock quadrant and draw this down. I'm going to try to lock this in so that it can snap into the six o'clock quadrant here. Now I'm going to dimension this. I'm dimension that vertical line to the center point, and that dimension needs to be 95 millimeters. Okay. Uh, I could go ahead and trim, trim that out, finish my sketch, and extrude it up the distance of 20 millimeters. Hit OK. All right, so that's that part. Now I'm going to draw the boss on here. So I'm going to go ahead and do another 2D sketch on this top plane. And I'm going to draw a circle to that center point, put a dimension on here. That particular dimension is 65 millimeters in diameter. So I'll put that in, finish my sketch, extrude it up. And the distance that we get there is 25 millimeters. Now, you could do a, a circle sketch on here and then extrude cut it out, but I recommend that you use the whole tool and get used to using it. So since we have a round boss here, what we can do is we can do a concentric placement, choose the plane, choose the concentric reference, which is just this edge, and then specify the diameter of that hole, which is 35 millimeters in diameter. All right, so the next part here is going to be a little bit tricky in that we need to go and add a plane that is angle to plane around edge. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click on this bottom surface. And I'm going to click on this back edge. And I want you to notice that the angle is referencing backwards. So from this bottom plane going referencing up counterclockwise, we want 120 degrees. So in order to do this, it's going to reference backwards. So you could do the math, or you could type the math into this screen. You could type in 360, or 360 degrees, minus 120 degrees, because 120 is what we're specified. But we're going to give the angle that's opposite of that. And by doing that, you get 240, but that's how you can get that angle. Okay? All right. So we're going to go and start a 2D sketch and spin this around to start a 2D sketch on that angled plane. And the first thing I want to do is make sure I project this bottom edge on that sketch. OK, now um, in order to get this out of the way, you can go over here and right click. Let's get out of project geometry, escape out of project geometry, right click and go to slice graphics, slice graphics. That'll give us the opportunity to see that just that line, that projected line on that particular sketch. So another thing that I want to do is I want to be able to look at my sketch directly on. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my sketch, go back in and edit sketch, and then that pops that uh, geometry back up. So let me do slice graphics again. Now I'm looking straight on that angled plane. That's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line. I'm going to draw it at the midpoint. Notice the green ball. It's going to snap. I'm going to draw a line. Now that line, the height of that line, I'm going to put a dimension in here. The height of that line is 95 millimeters. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw. I'm just going to draw the left side here. So uh, we're going to mirror the right side once I get this all complete. So let me put this dimension in. This dimension, and I'm going to just draw to the center point. We get a 90 millimeter spacing here. So half of 90 is 45. So I'm going to key in 45 for this dimension because this is from the center out 
and that's half of 90. And then I'm going to drop a line down, and I get a radius dimension of 25 millimeters. So I'm going to drop that down 25 millimeters, and then I'm going to go ahead and draw my circle by snapping to that center point. And I could just draw straight up uh, and snap to that point here for my 12 o'clock uh, quadrant point of that circle, and that'll give me a 25 millimeter uh, radius circle or you know 50 diameter. All right, so I'm going to continue this by drawing a line down here. So I'm going to snap to this projected line that I have, and this happens to be, it looks like at the origin part. But we're going to draw a line. I'm going to draw it longer than I need to. I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle. I'm going to specify the diameter on that circle. It's, we're given a 10-inch radius, so i got to specify 20 for a diameter because it's a full circle at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and, and snap it tangent tangent and you know constrain tangent tangent okay now i'm going to come in and trim this all up now it may not let you trim some things because we're going to have to delete some of these constraints when we delete constraints in order to trim what we'll have to do is put them back on when we're done so let me go ahead and, and trim this out trim that trim 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 all right so we have it all trimmed up and notice how Constraints are relaxed. It turns green again. So what I'll do is let's finish by snapping this circle in here. And this circle has a diameter of 25 millimeters. Now, I'm going to put dimensions from this center point over to this vertical line. And you'll notice that from there and then from the bottom of this height dimension, if we put that in, then you'll see that it constrains it. All right, so this center line that we're going to use is the mirror line. I don't want it as a regular uh, geometry line. I want to select it and make it a construction line. So notice how it'll turn to dotted construction line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mirror. So I'm going to mirror by selecting my geometry that I'm going to mirror. Let me select all this stuff here. My mirror line is going to be that construction line. Hit apply and notice how it mirrors it and it's still all fully constrained. Hit done, finish sketch, and extrude this out. And you're going to get, uh, have to specify the extruded distance of 20 millimeters. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I'm going to go ahead and notice how the home view is messed up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on my front view roll my view cube around and try to get what I want to look like my home view. And then I need to right click on the home button and I'm going to set current view as home. You can put fixed distance. That's fine. So then whenever I change my view and I hit the home button, it'll go back to that. And that's what I want my home view to look like. All right. Next thing, what we're going to do is we're going to draw, draw this, uh, this triangular brace. That's also a little bit tricky. So you need to really pay attention to this as to how I do it, because there's different ways you can do it. I'm going to go ahead and start a 2D sketch on the top of this boss. Let me roll this around. And I'm going to come in and just draw a rectangle here, right in this area. And the only thing that I'm going to do uh, is specify the distance of the width of this rectangle. And that distance is 16 millimeters. Now, I need to center it, though. So I'm going to choose this top to the origin. And then I'm going to put my formula that I always use. I'm going to click on that uh, 16 dimension and divide it by 2, referencing from that origin. So it'll center it uh, up and down here. Now, notice how I'm going to escape out of my dimension constraint. Notice how I can drag this rectangle back and forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it so that it's within this boss area. Same way with the left side here. So I could take this left side. I could drag it out here. But I'm going to drag it until it buries itself into this area of the part. Okay, that's all I need to do. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to go to extrude. Now watch this. I'm going to make sure I go and choose join. My distance is going to be 2 next. 
notice what it does and it wants to cut. So switch it back to join. Uh, so look what it does. It buries into the existing model, which is fine. So click on OK. And you're going to see what I got going on here. Now, this isn't complete. Keep in mind, I had to do this. I do this brace in two parts. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and create another 2D sketch. But watch, I'm going to go to my origin planes. And I'm going to choose the plane that runs right down the middle of that part, which is the XY plane. I'm going to click on the XY plane and start my 2D sketch from there. What I need to do here is I need to uh, project points onto that sketch. Okay, watch how I accomplish that. I'm going to go ahead and just project geometry. You need to follow along here. So I'm going to choose this circle edge, and it'll project this line that's on this particular sketch. I'm going to choose this edge right here, and notice how if I zoom in, there's a center point right there. That's all we need. We just need a place to select. I'm going to choose this top edge right here. You should see a center point. So when I go ahead and choose a line and create my geometry, that's what I'm going to be able to snap to is that point. I'm going to snap to that point, come up here, snap to that point, and come down and close this triangle off. Okay. Now, I'm going to finish my sketch. That's all we need to do there. I'm going to click on Extrude. But this time I'm going to extrude using the symmetrical extrusion. And I'm going to specify my distance of 16 millimeters and click on OK. Take a look at this. This is how it's going to work. Now, this plane is visible. We could turn that off, this work plane. Right click down here, uncheck visibility, and take a look at what happened with this web or brace, whatever you want to call it. That's exactly how you want that angle support to turn out. Home view, here it is. Thanks for watching.